Hello guys and gals, me Mudaharn. Remember that pachinko video we made a while back? The one video where we actually uh, focused on Japanese pachinko laws and how their gambling system works and how they get past many legalities involved. I wanted to make a rant time on our side of the planet, uh, you know, a week ago, but unfortunately the story kind of blew up. The one that I'm talking about, the CS uh, Go gambling specifically for people, but I wanted to focus on everything that's going on around it and uh, sort of my take on it and actually... I do want to thank that this the whole uh, scene actually blew up just because there have been several issues on this website because of it. And some major fucking issues. So let's get into uh, what the whole video is about. So when I talked about pachinkos, for those of you who don't know what pachinkos are, there's a video on it. I highly recommend you go watch it. But I'll fill you in with what, uh, what, what it really is right now. Pachinkos are basically parlor games in Japan where you actually trade in money for... Uh, certain chips, coins, whatever, you play them, you basically gamble away on a slot machine with little mini games attached to it to help further uh, go away from certain legal issues with gambling entirely. And when you get a certain amount of points, you can trade them in for prizes, and then prizes ultimately become money at the end of it. It's a very shady and uh, very interesting way to get past the whole gambling problem. Now we have it over here, and it's actually gotten considerably worse, in my opinion, with how our gambling issue is. So for those of you who don't know, Counter-Strike Go is a very popular game, and I'm going to give some history and some context to it. About a year and a half ago, I noticed a lot of videos on my related section. You know, I, every time I uploaded a video, I would go to the related side, and I would see CSGO case unboxings. And I, I am a person that does not like CSGO case unboxings. I have... I have made this point very abundantly clear, whether it be through snide remarks in a YouTube video or if you've ever been on a Twitch live stream and somebody has mentioned uh, the fucking case unboxing epidemic, I have talked a lot about it. But at the time, when I was uh, uploading videos, I would always see these CSGO case unboxings on the side. And I tried to watch a few of them and a lot of these people would buy a massive amount of crates and they would unbox them with keys. And for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, allow me to fill you in. Counter-Strike Global Offensive is a first-person shooter where the aim is to basically uh, compete against other players 5-on-5 five -five competitively, well, at least with this iteration, um, across many different scenarios, bomb defusals, hostage rescues, and whatnot. It's a competitive game. It's been around for a long fucking time. I've played Counter-Strike 1.6 for thousands of fucking hours, and just recently I've actually been getting into Counter-Strike Global Offensive more intensely than I've ever been before. So, in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, there are skins on guns. It's been included in one of the big updates way back. The skins are items you can unlock and apply to your weapons. So say you're playing with an AK-47, you can actually apply a skin to your AK-47 throughout the game to give it a unique bit of feel. Now, the skins are unlocked in an interesting fashion. As you play more games, competitively or casually, you will potentially, not always, unlock crates, or sometimes you might even get a skin yourself. I have a few times. Uh, they've usually been really cheap skins, but uh, you can get them regardless. Now, I don't know if you can get any expensive skins. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that, but you unlock crates. Now, the only way to open the crates is to actually spend $2.49, at least here in Canadian dollars. It's price difference uh, no matter where you live, right? So you buy these keys. You can earn these keys in the game. So you actually have to pay $2.50 to unlock the item you have earned. Now, this money is supposed to go towards the competitive scene so that, you know, the prize pools can get larger and people playing in the comp scene can get paid uh, a, a pretty big prize. And, and I'm totally okay with that. A lot of other games do that. Call of Duty, Halo, uh, and whatnot. They, they all do that, okay? But here's the fundamental difference. With Counter-Strike, you actually have to pay to unlock these items. If you play Call of Duty, if you play Battlefield, if you play Halo, you'll notice that their requisition points, battle packs, or COD points are all unlocked via regular play as well. You don't have to ever spend a penny on those games. You can actually play the game enough to unlock those items or get enough packs to help you try to unlock those items. You can play the game enough. You can actually earn everything by regular play, which I totally support. I'm okay with that. All right, I feel like if you want to spend 10 bucks to advance your progress, go for it. With Counter-Strike, you can't exactly do that. Now, the other big thing with Counter-Strike is that these skins are actually uh, are actually available to be put on a marketplace. So, for example, back when Diablo 3 came out, they had the auction house. And you could grind for items, and you can put them up on the auction house, and you can trade that for real money, right? And with Counter-Strike, you can sort of do the same thing. You can get these skins... 
and these skins have an inherent monetary value. Some of them are worth a few pennies, and some of them are worth a few hundred dollars. If you ever look at knives on CSGO, they can be up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I shit you not. You could probably actually get a, a fucking knife cheaper than some of the most expensive knives on that store. Now, of course, it's all due to the game's economy. It can be many things. It can be the condition of the item or the skin in question. It could be uh, how many different sort of stickers are attached to it. Or, um, for example, what was the other thing? It could be the rarity of the item, such as how many actually exist in the game's ecosystem. There's many factors, but regardless, it can get pretty fucking expensive. So because you can trade and sell these items, a lot of third-party stores have popped up. Third-party betting sites. So one of the one prevalent sites that I've come across, one that my brother actually frequents, my brother almost plays this game on a pro level. He's one of the fucking highest ranks I've seen. Um, he's never really spent a dollar on the game. He's actually earned it through betting. But I'm going to tell you what it's all about, okay? So when it comes to betting on CSGO, there's third-party sites. Third-party sites, they run these Steam bots where basically you, uh, you trade the sites. So how it works, for example, is you trade these sites, your items, and these items can be put to bets. So bets can be, for example, when you're fighting another, when, 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 you, when you look at the competitive scene and there's two teams going at it, you can put your money on one team, you can bet it, and if the team wins, you get your items back. You get that value back of items. So that's how the betting works. There's also games you can play. Uh, there are certain sites out there where you can play games such as uh, Minesweeper almost. Um, you can play these uh, slot machines. You can even fucking do dice. So it's legitimately gambling. It's full on gambling. But the thing is, they have a loophole that gets past it. And what does the loophole allow them to do? It allows them to have fucking children playing this shit. Children can go on, okay? Now, I'm not going to be Mr. Moral Man, okay? I personally think gambling is fucking stupid, okay? If you're if you're going to potentially put your money, your hard-earned money on the line to potentially earn more, that's just greedy uh, shit. Don't fall in for greed, okay? You oftentimes more lose gambling than you even win because at the end of the day, it's a business. If they were, If you were winning all the time, they wouldn't be up there, okay? That's how gambling works. That's how casinos work. Now, it's not the fact that, again, I have an issue with third-party gambling sites. It was bound to happen. And the more and more I see it, the more and more this gets further, what aggravates me is the new line of content that it has created on YouTube and when you go to Twitch. Anytime, like, I go look for some people on CSGO, there's actually people who legitimately make videos of case unboxings or they, or they stream the fuck out of these gambling machines. They're not actually playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive. They're just there to get skins. That's it. And I guess some people just enjoy it. I, I, I don't get the appeal, but then again, it's content. Content can be for everyone. It's entirely subjective. If people like watching slot machine pornography, go for it. I am all, all the power to you. Okay. But now what's really getting to me is a day before I've seen a lot of these exposed videos brought by people who, uh, who are exposing themselves now. And I'm not going to name names because I don't want to give anybody undue attention. But you can Google it right now, open up a new tab, look at it, and you'll find people who are exposing themselves because they're a part of this global fraud, if you will. Okay, Counter-Strike global fraud, global scamming, if you will. And <laughs> it's, it's really embarrassing because you would think... Some of these channels, which they're pretty large, by the way, we're talking hundreds of thousands of subscribers, some of them even go up to the millions, would have a little bit of professional tossed, uh, professionalism tossed into them. But they don't. See, some of these channels own or have part ownership in these gambling sites. And some of these people are actually paid to advertise these sites. They're sponsored by these sites to make these gambling videos. Some of these sites have legitimately been rigged for these people so that they can make a more entertaining video so that more people flock to their site you know they'll title it with you know earn thousands of dollars you know one dollar to a fucking three thousand dollar knife or some shit like that one of the things is is that if, if you're my age you know what i mean you're not going to fall for this shit instantly but little fucking 13 year olds who and i'm saying 13 year olds because i'm sure that's the that is the minimum age for steam at least i don't think you can go any fucking younger fall in for that and they go in and take part of that gamble parade, okay? They, they, are, they are fucking gambling their little items away for this shit, okay? These people are literally taking 30, 50, hundreds of dollars from little fucking kids at times. People who aren't old enough to legally make that fucking decision to gamble away their cash, okay? They just take it. 
All right, they take it. And what actually aggravates me the most, too, about it is, again, it is that lack of professionalism. Case in point, we did an Intel video a while back. The Intel video, we uh, were given a case by Intel themselves. It contained a motherboard. It contained a CPU. It contained numerous high-end PC parts. It was a nice little gift from Intel, and we were meant to do a fucking unboxing of it. Um... Uh, it was a sponsored video. We made it very evident by the fact that even in the title, we said Intel sent us something really cool. We had to mention it. That's how fucking sponsorships work. And I have no problem with sponsorships by no means. If it's something that uh, that is beneficial, that I think is something that I would use, yeah, I'd sponsor it without a doubt. For example, I'm a huge PC gamer. I love... I, I have Intel parts in my PC. I have NVIDIA parts in my PC. If NVIDIA or Intel sends me something, I would love to focus. I would love to talk about it just because that is something that I'm interested in. I would be totally down to do that, okay? But what weirds me out about this is this is actually fully fucking illegal. This is actually scamming. This is fraud. This is ad. This is fucking ad deception, okay? These are people who are showcasing a site meant for gambling where they are playing with enhanced odds, odds that you wouldn't have to promote this site, which is, which A, that's illegal, and B, they never disclose it, okay? I run businesses, I run, I run things, I know how the FTC works, I, I've been in this industry, okay? You have to disclose shit like this, but nobody does it. And now people are out there self-exposing themselves, thinking that, oh, okay, fine, whatever, I guess I'm free. No, you're not fucking free, okay? This is fraudulent activity. Okay, it's kind of shameful because gaming entertainment is, is new, okay? Fucking this online entertainment shit is, is new. It's starting to really fucking grow into something big. And already, we've seen people who are like, oh, well, fuck it, we can just abuse the system. And, and it's, it's shit like this that gives stuff on this site a bad fucking name, all right? Because you think the CSGO case unboxings are weird, okay? You, you know, there were YouTubers at the time who were doing fucking Call of Duty uh, they, they were getting, like, apparently there was rumors of people getting COD points or whatever, okay? And I have no issue with anybody getting COD points, battle packs, or Halo requisition points, because at least those can be earned by regular fucking play. This shit can't. You actually have to put money into it. You literally have to gamble. If you unbox a case, you are playing slot machines, okay? When you put it onto a third-party site, you are gambling your money away, okay? Because even if it's not actual money, these skins have cost to them. And you're putting them in, you're gambling cash away, okay? I don't have, you know, I, I mean, I understand there's kids involved. Now I'm not going to be Mr. Moral Man, okay? Kids are involved. That's not my biggest, like, problem. My biggest problem with is the lack of fucking professionalism and the fucking fraudulent activity they're causing. Of course the kids are the issue, okay? Of course taking money from a fucking 13-year-old kid, 14-year-old kid from their gun skin, okay? And sure, it's their moronic sure the, the kid's fucking stupid for gambling the cash away but i'm not going to call the kid stupid necessarily because even when i was 13 or 14 i did stupid shit if i looked up i looked up to some of these people who do this kind of stuff back when i was a kid okay if i watched them back in the day and this was the thing that was uh, the norm i'd probably fall for it okay i i really would i i am i was that stupid back then nowadays not so much all right but the thing is that these people have caused a great disturbance in this new emerging entertainment all right they're fucking scamming people they're frauds all right this is this is fraud what aggravates me the most again is the people that are self-exposing them now they're like oh you know I, I did this thing i'm gonna be honest with you you know i fucked up no okay fucking up all right is making a mistake you know everyone makes mistakes i've made mistakes you've all made mistakes we've all done deceptively committing fraudulent activities and scamming people and lying while promoting a gambling site with uneven odds showcased on a fucking video meant to be a giant ad is deception, all right? And it is punishable by law, all right? And I really hope the stuff kind of gets pushed out. I'm not mentioning names by any chance because considering YouTube right now with the way everyone fucking just strikes the shit out of videos and bans you out, I I'm not taking that risk. But point being said, this video has gone on way long enough. I'm going to need to edit down a little bit of it. I just wanted to get a little bit off my chest. I wanted to give you guys my fucking perspective on it, my personal perspective on why this issue does touch close to me at home. But ultimately, I'm going to end the video on this note. Okay, it's fucked up. It's screwed up this is happening. I personally think this is worse than the Japanese pachinko things. Okay, I, I, think, I think if you look at the way our 
gambling issues are right now with microtransactions. I mentioned this in that video before too. But looking at it now, especially with the new light, the new information that's come out with how this facet of gaming entertainment is actually fucking so corrupt and seedy, really spooks me. It really does. But I'm going to end the video on here. I've rambled on far too enough. Um, I hope you like the face interspersed with the gameplay. I, I kind of wanted to try something new here, you know. Uh, plus, I, 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 I'm not looking like a hobo anymore. I, I mean, maybe I am. I asked on Twitter. Somebody said I looked like a uh, skinny fucking hobo. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it if you dislike it. Thank you for watching. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.